so we just got new arrivals in our tilapia fingerlings and we're getting ready to acclimate them to the new tank here's the tank nice and ready and we're pulling them out of the bag see how they look oh yeah we have no floaters we have exactly 20 nile in there and 20 blue Hey babies, welcome home. I'm gonna float them for 15 minutes. Okay. Welcome to your new home. Okay, cut. Okay, we're adding uh, a half a cup of tank water every 15 minutes. There's a tank. We're adding a half a cup of water every 15 minutes for one hour. And then uh, I'll film us netting the fish and putting them in the tank. So now we're getting ready to net our tilapia, our fingerlings out of the bag. Note, you never ever want to dump the water that the fish, your tilapia come in from the bag into your tank. Um, you want to acclimate your fish first and then net them out of the bag they came in. And we're getting ready to do that right now. Here's our first group going into their new home. Oh, there they go. <laughs> going straight to the bottom. <laughs> this is normal. When you first get them home and they're acclimated, they're going to probably go to the bottom. Don't worry. This is completely normal. And again, we have 20 Nile and 20 blue there you go babies find your new home and these have been fed because there's definitely poo in the back just so you know Usually it's better just to wait to feed them while they're in transportation mode or being delivered or traveling in a box. Okay, we'll be back later. Okay, we're back. We had to make a little adjustments on our camera. We're still getting the rest of these little guys. Some are a lot smaller than one inch. We got some little ones in here. I'm assuming those would be the Nile. They're almost fried. Yeah, the Nile are the smaller ones. They're white now. Get a close up. Okay. I think I only got one in that one. Get in there. I like the filter I made. <laughs> yeah. They're like, ooh, a new home. It's like all of them made it here healthy and safe. Babies. I think about I think I got about four more that I get.
We're just checking out the environment. Swim around doing what babies usually do. Holding that over the bucket and I'm done. And to get the last, we're gonna hold the net over the bucket and dump the water into the net. Two degrees at this moment. And nice air bubbles going there. And we've got a DIY filter going on in there. Working wonderful. So good. Everybody looks nice like they're acclimated tank. really good. Yep. Moving around, being little busy bodies like most babies are. Alright, we'll be back. So here's about an hour after uh, I released my blue tilapia and white niles. Um, the white niles are chilling on the bottom, that's fine. They'll probably be that way for a couple hours. But these blues are just having a ball in this new tank I got set up for them. They're just, there's one or two. Let me see where he's at. There's one blue that might not make it right here. Yeah, he's kind of doing the pokey pokey. Um, I might isolate him. He just doesn't look well. You look at his eyes, they're pretty black. Um, the others are, well, these are just happy as can be. I got the tank sitting at 82, which is perfect. Uh, where'd he go? Yeah, he's up here. He, I don't know if he's going to make it. Yeah, and the other fish are just picking at him. <clears throat> but that's my uh, filter I made. I got a two inch sponge in the bottom with an airline right above it. I got filter floss above that, and I've got these uh, non stick scrubbers. They're made of. Sorry about that. They're nylon, so I've got an air. I got an air line in there, and that thing is pumping away. I got an air stone in the bottom. I got two heaters in here now, or actually three. I'm gonna take the. That's a hundred watt heater over there, and that's a hundred watt heater here, and that's a two hundred watt. I think I'm just gonna leave that. Take the other two out. But uh, yeah, he's not looking good. He keeps. He's swimming upside down and flipping around. So, I had this filter before, uh, that PVC filter. I had it <clears throat> um, with a cap on the bottom with holes drilled in it. And I had a, a power head up top. But these little Nile, they're, they're just about fingering, but they're probably half to three quarters of an inch maybe the little ones and they were getting stuck to the bottom so I pulled me uh, I pulled the cap off and I drilled a hole in the side above the sponge and I put an air line in there and now it's working great you can see the air coming up out of the top um, yeah these blues are just happy as can be 
happy. Yeah, yeah. I took some of those rocks out too because the, the those little white knobs were getting stuck underneath them, pinned. And uh, there's one way in the back. You like the air, and they're just they're just happy as can be. These blues, gosh, having a ball. I mean, every one of them, but that one, uh, he may not make it. Probably pull him out and isolate him, like I said. Um, yeah, he's he's floating up to the top, and yeah, he's not doing good. Uh, might take him out and distinguish him humanely. And again, I might give him an hour. I might snap out of it. There's a little white plane in the bubbles back there. Happy fish. I got a... We just moved. Um, so I got a bunch of tanks in, inside. I got a set up. <clears throat> I got two fifties over here. I got to clean up and set up, and it's just a big mess. But I'm gonna build shelving over here and uh, set up my tanks. Catch you later.